lot of people think living a healthy lifestyle is hard. I first thought it was hard because I always thought that in order to eat healthy, you had to buy expensive foods. I always thought it would just break the bank. I didn't fully understand it because I always thought it was too much information. I just didn't really know where to start, to be honest. And I always made excuses. As far as like fitness goes, same thing. I didn't know where to start. I didn't have a plan. I wasn't organized, but fear not. In this video, I'm gonna sum up the foundation and uh, the basics for fitness diet. After that, you all should have some kind of value. Stay tuned for that. Point number one, we're gonna talk about diet. We have macros, three macros. One of the macros is protein. Another macro is a carb or carbohydrate. Another one is fats. Ah, so for protein, four calories in a gram. Same thing with carbs. And for fats, it is nine calories per gram of fat. Fats do have more calories. Carbs, the same amount of calories as uh, protein. But one thing, protein does keep you full longer, and that is because it takes longer to digest. Now, if you go to go to shopping, uh, just to not complicate anything, you should start with protein. Something simple you can get: boneless, skinless chicken breast. It doesn't have to be organic just be the regular one other protein sources you could do ground turkey i do ground turkey uh, you could do ground beef if you want to save on the calories and uh, eat more definitely get a leaner cut of things and uh, less fat other protein you have like fishes like salmon cod uh, you have eggs i mean those are the ones that you can get that are pretty affordable now as far as carbs go you have rice pasta potatoes sweet potatoes those are the common ones now those are going to be cheaper than the proteins as far as fats go you don't need to go too crazy on the fats just pick one or two and just kind of stick with it i have peanuts uh the unsalted kind you could get whichever peanut butter almond butter avocados those are the three how i track the foods that i eat i use an app called my fitness pal there's other apps that you can use. I've been using it for, I think, like two years now. It's a pretty good app. Um, I'll throw it on the screen. A cool thing about it, you don't have to always type in uh, what you're eating unless you don't have like a label. But if you just scan the barcode, it just plugs it in. Now, sometimes it's not always accurate, so you might have to uh, search the kind of food and look it up. Invest in a food scale. That way you can weigh out your food. You just combine those and you log your food. You have an idea of what you're eating and the amount, things like that, just to get used to things. I do suggest you start with at least tracking the foods that you eat and weighing it. That way you get an idea of everything. As far as supplements, I wouldn't focus on supplements right away. If you do get supplements though, it should only be used mainly when you kind of have no choice. I would suggest protein powder. Uh, creatine's on like the sort of advanced level. I wouldn't recommend that right away. I forgot to mention snacks. There's a fat-free um, or a close to fat-free popcorn protein bars to keep me up on my protein intake throughout the day if I can't get a meal in. That's, that's pretty much the basics for the diet portion. With the second point, uh, fitness. There's multiple types of programs and splits that you can do. It usually goes off of how many days you want to work out in a week. The common ones, you have push-pull leg split, full body split, bro split, upper lower split. Those are the only ones I can really think of at the moment. They usually go off of how many days it is. So push-pull leg is six days. Uh, make sure, by the way, you don't hit seven days working out consecutively because you do need at least a day of rest. Another general rule, you want to give your muscle at least 48 hours to recover and what I mean by muscle is it's usually a muscle group so if you do legs one day uh, you want to give it at least two days of rest sometimes it needs more full body I think that's three days you get the idea I would suggest if you're a beginner at least start out with full body because you're bound to grow muscle regardless if you want to hit the gym more you can do upper lower push pull leg i wouldn't hop into just yet because of the amount of volume in it if you, if you crank out too much right away and your muscle is not 
they're not used to it you will be really sore if you actually work your muscle too hard without getting enough rest it actually is counterproductive because it keeps on tearing the muscle down before it can even repair as far as your rep ranges sets rest times for the workout you have one through 20 rep is the the main guideline from one to six that's more on like a strength focus type of uh goal from six and up to like six to 15 is like hypertrophy you can do six to 20 with hypertrophy but uh i'd usually stick to like 15 at least i wouldn't go too high or else it turns into endurance by the way hypertrophy is building muscle if you want to mix a strength and building muscle i would suggest like 12 10 or 12 because you kind of get the best of both worlds it's like in the middle of both goals you have different kinds of lifts you have compound lifts isolation exercises as a beginner you want to stick to mainly doing compound exercises first and towards the end of the workout you want to stick to isolated exercises so compound exercises just means you're working different muscle groups at the same time like pull up squat things like that all isolated exercises is doing one muscle so if you do bicep curls or tricep hip extensions or leg extensions it just focuses on that one muscle and there's nothing wrong with doing isolated exercises it's just you want to do fewer of them you want to push it towards the end of the workout and do mainly compound exercises at first that way you get a better bang for your buck uh, you save more time things like that and as far as how many exercises that you should do in a session uh, i would say like five or six is a sweet spot as far as like volume goes a lot of people say three sets per exercise that's an okay guideline but what you really want to do is uh focus more on the intensity not so much the volume a lot of people they'll do more sets like five sets and they're not even close intense wise so they're really not doing anything but wasting time a good way to do this is uh you want to stick close to failure sometimes a good way like starting out is to actually hit failure on a movement like you're really struggling you can't get that weight up that's when i would stop there try to get it around whatever rep that you're trying to hit that way you can figure out what weight that you want to do rest times they vary if you're doing a strength type of program i would say three minutes for like hypertrophy a minute or like a minute 30 uh, endurance i have no idea to be honest with you because i don't really do that type of stuff i mean sometimes you might need more rest i'll take like three minute rest you need longer rest for a compound exercise but a rule of thumb that i follow i'll wait as long as i need to until my heart rate comes down so i'm not like huffing and puffing mentally i feel like i can do the next set no problem and also if my muscles if they feel good they're not burnt or anything so those three things that's that's something you could follow for when to start your next set as far as fitness too a big thing that people neglect sometimes even myself sleep sleep is very important now you want to get i wouldn't even say like seven hours minimum even though that is the minimum i would say like seven and a half or eight you really want to try to get no less than eight to be honest because if i have like a tough leg day and if i try to get seven hours of sleep i'm pretty much dead the next day so it all goes off of your body uh you might still be tired with like eight and then sometimes if i have a really good workout i'll sleep for like if i if it's my off day i will literally sleep for like 10 hours or like 11 hours if i had a really good workout you pretty much want to get as much sleep as you can the more sleep you get you tend to build more muscle and lose more fat the less sleep you get it's the opposite you tend to hold on to more fat and you sometimes might lose muscle that pretty much was the foundation uh, for diet fitness just understanding that to make the whole process easier because a lot of people still overcomplicate things if there's anything you want me to dive deeper on or if you're confused about something uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below or if you just want me to talk about something in general regarding fitness lifestyle self-improvement yada yada comment just get to me i'll help you out that being said if you found this video useful uh, go ahead and leave a like if you want to see more videos like this which there will be more videos like this and better videos because this is uh, only my first video go ahead and subscribe as well i'll catch you all in another video peace